You know, I, I played, I think I only played Poison once this tournament. I think every other match is lore. Alright, so, me versus Just a Kid. I know my Lin lost to Just a Kid with Poison, but honestly, I, the way Just a Kid plays, I think Laura is kind of the better pick in the matchup. So, that was kind of, I was already more playing against the ca the player than the character. It's getting closer and closer, like Just a Kid is starting to bridge that gap. So, like, against Jury, like, the neutral is mad annoying for Laura. I just have to use Thunderclap to kind of inch my way close or do random shoulders and hope for counter hits. But, like, I'm always looking out at a range for where uh, stand medium kick is because I know stand medium kick is kind of like the go to button. So, I just try to stand out of the range. I thought it was DP. I thought he was going to try to. I thought he was going to try to, like, establish something early. At least I would have DP'd there. And then... I'm surprised I didn't kill, but he didn't check the dash. Because nobody's going to be ready for the dash. I feel like the lower health you have, the less likely you are, you are to check the dash after a uh, command grab. Pick up for him. To be honest, i actually surprised I didn't cross out. Yeah, it's, it's almost like uh, and so much risk with the command grab that it nah, I don't think it's true that I command grab more in top eight. I don't think that's true. It might it might be, but I don't feel like I do command grab it more in top eight. Yeah, I I I, I use poison and lore kinda like as a I think it's more of a player matchup thing. I think it's more important to pick a character based on who you're playing against, more so than a matchup. Obviously matchup plays a factor too. But like if I'm playing against like uh, if I know my opponent is more of like a, a sit still kind of player, I definitely would use poison more. But if I know if my opponent's just going to be mad antsy and get hit for no reason, that sucked because nah, nah, that that sucked. That was a good whiff punish. But um, yeah, if I play against a player who I think is just holding up our uh, antsy, I'll usually use Laura. But if I think I'm playing against a player who's actually going to try to like play neutral or footsies with me, I usually use poison. Or if, yeah, if I'm playing against somebody where it's like, it's hard to play footsies with, then I'll just use poison. That was fine. That was, I, I feel like he activated really late there, so I, I, I just guessed that was minor. But here it's like, I just gotta keep just a kid cornered. I didn't check the dash because Jury's dash is not fast. Yeah, even listen said it. That's funny. I was just trying to get out of the corner. Yeah. Here, yep. Stay pressure. Yep. Stay pressure. Yep. Keep him in the corner. Try to jump. Nope. Nope. Footsies again. And yeah. But like here, here is like where I want to be. As soon as I get here, and I can keep my opponent caged, like here is like you can't really do anything. So I'm just trying to keep just a kid corner perfect, really like I am now. Notice I'm never like really moving. Anti air, yep. Throw, yep. Keep him cornered. He didn't check the dash. Me jury's medium kick broken. Yeah, yeah. And now I got cornered. I got cornered because I went into the the medium kick. So now I'm in a bad spot. But ex, what you call it? Ex is good. That was me being greedy. That was actually my own fault. So here, I did ex command grab. I did heavy punch, and I thought he, I thought he would hit his three frame. So I hit crouch medium kick to try to low profile his three frame because I thought he was gonna try to like contest me. But I see he had crouch medium kick too, and then I got counter hit because I, I'm pretty sure Jerry's crouch medium kicks faster than Laura. So here, I'm just in a bad spot. At this point, the round's pretty much over. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't do anything there. I, I, but the, the challenge after the heavy punch is actually very bad. I, yo, I can't check Jury's dash. It's so fast. Oh, that was a lucky drop. Yeah. Force to guess. Yep. That's a punish. Didn't get that much damage out of it, but it definitely that's fine because yeah, that's fine. As soon as I got him back into the corner and Jury didn't have V trigger, I was like, "There's no way I'm gonna lose." That was, that was wild. All right, what's the mix? All right, let's 
because not trying to take have that a good evening. Kind of victory. Yep. Definitely. But that wasn't fair, bro. That wasn't. That was actually not fair. I did the right thing and I lost. This entire set, but now in this in this game three of the third game. <laughs> what am I jumping for? All right, nice walk out. That was a bad V break. He should have definitely just punished me. But nice you know, right people don't know. Slow down the pressure from my what you call it? He should have just punished the the oh, heavy punch. That command dash again to get out of the, That's the fine. Situation. Footsies. You try to get a heavy kick, nice heavy punch. Okay. Yeah. Footsies again oh, and stun. Okay, and that's the game. <laughs> and just like that, the stun was racking up. It sneaked up on Justicus. And sometimes just those hits, they just start to add up. But that's why he's here and we're here. Exactly. And Idom is on set point. Trying to get into this. I knew I knew something cheap was gonna happen. I was like, I'm not trying to guess that. Whoever wins uh, bon. fucking, um, Pudo. Nice conversion right there with you were only thinking about the v punch on counter hit. So, the, the thing with Jury's V-Skill is I feel like it it kind of invalidates Laura's best special move, which is the Thunderclap. So, I definitely got to make sure he doesn't get V-Skill. So, I'm just trying to stay out of range where he obviously not going to charge V-Skill in my face because I'll punish him. But, um... Yeah, all I'm really thinking about in this matchup is basically medium kick and V-Skill. Kind of like Jury's two best options against Laura. So, that's all I'm really trying to do. Just a hit. Wow, just about Punisher. Hang on. Went on the other side. Yeah, and I thought it would be But here is like, okay, V-Trigger, I gotta just survive, back up, back up. Jury's V-Trigger kind of makes me have to stop playing the game. I got cornered off of the V-Trigger. I can't check Jury's dash, it's too fast. I think just a kid maybe got to start clipping his legs anytime that he goes for a tick throw. I agree, I agree. I thought it would DP. Oh, that was a good a shot. Combo. Oh, nice pressure right here. It's trying to turn it around. But, I'm trigger. but yeah, here I'm just thinking, like, I can't let Jury charge V-Skill. Oh, nice All I'm really trying to do here, I guess, is because I know he has CA. So I know he's probably looking for cross medium kick pinwheel CA. So all I'm thinking here is I think he's at enough life where command grab and V-Trigger will kill him. So I'm just thinking he's going to whiff crouch medium kick or try to do something. So I'm either trying to clip the crouch medium kick because that's probably his go-to button or just find any way to do like a heavy into V-Trigger to force the, the last interaction. And as soon as I said it, force the last interaction and dead. And it kills. <laughs> I, I literally called it before it even happened. <laughs> Alright, so this matchup... I don't, I don't really like, and I definitely try to use light whip a lot. So I gotta take the throw versus Luke, because it's too much what you call it. I Wow, so, so that that is actually kind of cheeky with V Trigger too. It's kind of just like a random. This is actually kind of the equivalent to just doing Chariot Tackle and Neutral for mad damage. And no one's gonna punish that. Let's be real. Unless like I whiff so badly and then they jump it. But honestly, I should actually never whiff that. But yeah, V-Trigger, I only use V-Trigger 2, so I don't get cornered too fast. But when I play against Luke, like I said, all I'm really trying to do is avoid the corner. Like, at all costs. It doesn't really matter. Plus, that move is broken. Yep. Combo. And then, like, I got him to the corner really fast. So here is, like, really good. Yep. An interesting conversion right there. What's going on? And Punk stopped moving. I want to know if um, maybe I think uh, controller issue right there. I'm not sure what happened what there. Going on? Either the Brook converter went out or Punk's controller kept going out. I don't know what was going on on the stage. Yeah, it, with Luke, it's like playing against Punk's Karen, for example. Like, I don't want to hold up. I mean, I can't walk back because, like, the threat of low forward is so good. So I'm kind of just stuck there. And the thing with Luke is, Luke's buttons are better than Karen, so. What you call it? Okay. Definitely hard to move. But look at it's good. V trigger two is really good here because in this scenario, like right here, uh, 
like, I don't get Oki, but I got so much screen space. And, like, here, it's it's good for me because it's like, oh, well, at least Luke's away from me. Now I don't have to deal with taking so much damage. I, I can definitely see the merit of using the trigger. It does add extra damage to the regular Wow. He so, so, that one, I actually lab this a lot at Street Fighter League, and I finally got it to work once but that is actually really good but it's actually very hard to react to yeah. this is good but i like this is kind of where v trigger 2 is bad i feel like v trigger 2 is good if i'm already winning where i feel like v trigger 1 is good if i'm winning or losing so i just threw a full screen and like he can just throw fireballs now, so I gotta make something happen, which is why I did that. But I still gotta make something happen, because I don't get anything. And now I have to get close enough to do EX heart rate, but Luke's V-Trigger broken, because you're not reacting to it. And then, yeah. Oh, he didn't get the level 2. Oh, nice backdash. Okay. Gotta take the throw. Yep, well, but yeah, here, and this is kind of like another reason why people say frame data is not the uh, end all be all, because he did this, so he does heavy punch. Is there a way to, what you call it? He does heavy punch. He does heavy punch EX, uh, EX sandblast, but he's like plus two here. But, like, obviously, he's plus two, but there is no button he's going to do. Unless he commits to Crouch Jab from here, and then I think the target combo to whiff anyway. So, this is kind of where, like, frame data doesn't always matter. Because in, like, this range, he's plus, but, like, he's not plus enough to do anything. So, this is why I kind of challenge with Jab. Because you can see he tried to walk up because he's not, he's nowhere near to do, he's not near me enough to do anything. Obviously, if he does, like... No, like crouch medium punch, I think, would have counter hit me or something. But, like, from that range, it's kind of like where the the frame data kind of doesn't matter. But it, it's something like at like super high level. Back medium punch would have counter hit me. I don't think back medium punch would have worked. Maybe it would have counter hit me. But I'm not sure. Uh, Why did I pick V Trigger 2? So, I think against Luke. Luke's going to corner you so fast, so V-Trigger 2 gets you out of the corner very easily compared to V-Trigger 1. Also, it kind of instills fear with EX heart rate because, honestly, with V-Trigger 1, I feel like Luke can kind of just down back and, like, not care. But at least with V-Trigger 2, you can actually make him scared and feel like he has to, make him feel like he has to move. So, yeah, like, here, I'm going to do EX heart rate, I'm assuming. I'm just trying not to get hit by stand medium punch, force to guess. It, it makes EX heart rate scary, which is why I got that. It, make, it makes EX heart rate a lot scarier, especially when, like, somebody already pops V-Trigger. So, like, here, and I got all this corner space. Back medium punch. That was lucky. That was actually extremely lucky. Yeah, I'm just trying to activate V-Trigger, force a guess, force another guess. That's all I'm looking for, force another guess. I gotta force another guess, but I'm trying not to get hit by V-Trigger 1. I'm just trying to walk up to force a guess. Force a guess. That sucks because my guess kind of got invalidated. But now, now it's like... You know, this is why I don't like Luke's V-Trigger. If this was any other character, I would just be like, oh, run away, I have the life lead. But the problem with Luke's V-Trigger is it's not going down, and if I don't engage him, it's just going to gradually go back up. So I kind of, I'm forcing myself to go in, plus I realize I'm so close to one meter, so I still have to go in. And then, yeah, I, I just got that, but, uh, it confirm on my end, I guess. But yeah, I think V Trigger 2 is definitely not as bad as I was making it seem to be before. I can definitely see the use of it. So, when I was going against Kudo, 
Uh, one thing I, I have been realizing, at least during his, like, entire tournament run, he was hitting heavy kick a lot. Like, no one... It, it was very hard for people to really stop Chun's heavy kick. So, with Laura, I know Laura's crouch medium kick goes under it, and Laura's crouch heavy punch goes under it. So, I was definitely trying to use those buttons a lot more in neutral. Yep, he reversed off. You see, okay. For here? So, I can literally go through why I did a lot of these decisions. Here, I didn't want to get thrown, obviously, to the corner. That would have been bad. So, here, I knew he's going to do heavy punch. But, look at the life lead. And then I'm thinking, I don't need my V trigger anymore. So, I don't, yeah, I don't need my V-Trigger anymore. So, I'm going to burn my V-Reversal because, obviously, I don't need my V-Trigger to do that much life. Literally, any hit will probably kill him. So, I, need, I use my V-Reversal to get Oki to force another guest situation. But here, I was trying to just say, hey, br I'm trying to say, like, yo, Kudo, I'm, I'm crazy. I'll do a random overhead to try to close out the game. But I forgot we were playing on 480Hz monitor. So, yeah, obviously, Laura's overhead's kind of bad and you know, PC. So, yeah. Yeah, here, I'm I'm just trying to stay alive. I, I need V-Trigger, and I got it with the wake-up jab. Yep, gotta make, it, gotta make sure what you call it. Burn the V-Reversal? Nope. Okay, he didn't burn the V-Reversal. I can kind of do what I want. Still didn't burn the V-Reversal. Still didn't burn the V-Reversal. That was unfortunate. And then here is like, I lost because he's just gonna activate V-Trigger. I'm gonna get chip. Yeah. You can chip him out. You can chip him out. Yeah. Yep, there it is. That was unfortunate. I shouldn't have got hit by the 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 raw ex spinning. I mean the raw spinning bird. Uh, this right here is really good versus Chun Li specifically. So I do this a lot versus Chun. I'll just throw raw thunderclap. She can do heavy kick, but she has to be at a very specific range. Chun Li's only real answer to get under thunderclap, I like point blank, is to do slide. But okay, I take like. I don't know, like 60 damage for getting hit by slide, but slide is minus three on hit, so I can punish and get jab in the shoulder, which is better for me because I'm forcing a guess situation as opposed to him putting himself in a guessing situation for solving my thunderclap. So that's that's good for me. I I confirmed that, and it was a it was one of those uh it was one of those like. Uh, what do they call those? When you backdash a hit confirm and then you get punished for it? Because I do this versus Punk a lot, actually. But it it sucks being on the other side of it. And then you get punished for it. But Kuda could have definitely beat me that round. I got lucky. And then Crouch Counter to dead. That Crouch Heavy Punch is so good because I'm using it to beat her Heavy Punch. Yeah, I'm using it to beat her Heavy Punch and her Crouch and her Stand Heavy Kick. I got sucked in. Yeah, I, I got sucked in. I hate when that happens. If you do, if you do V skill back, you get sucked in for some reason, in like a vacuum effect. I hate that. That was lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I thought. So here, I thought a V shift was gonna happen. That, that's kind of why I dashed up. I was already ready for it. I was like, he's got a V-shift. But... He dashed into my heavy kick. I mean, heavy punch. So, yeah. That was kind of the the read I had, but he didn't even V-shift. In that matchup, you... The Chun has to be active, but, like, I feel like every matchup with Laura is... You just gotta get... Actually, I'm not even gonna say every matchup with Laura. I feel like the strategy for winning in Street Fighter... You just gotta get your opponent to the corner and then just, like, cage him. That's it. That's... That's... What you call it? That's how you... That's kind of how you have to play five. You get your opponent to the corner and then just cage them. Because being in the corner in this game is so... So... So bad. It's gonna be the same in six, too. Six is gonna be just like that. And to be honest, the reason I think their corner is always going to be like that, I mean, that's kind of one of the reasons why I think they put the, the wall in strive. Hold on, where is my trophy? Give me a second. I will get the Chun-Li trophy. Uh, one second, one second, one second. Yeah, so, so yeah, here's the, the Chun-Li 
statue. I don't have a I don't have a full screen cam, unfortunately. Here is the Chun Li statue. Right here with the DTN uh sigil on it. But yeah, here's the Chun Li statue. They had a Palatina one for Smash that I thought looked really good too. But this is the Statue of Liberty Chun Li. Not like I like the Chun Li trophy, but I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could have got like Laura or Poison or or someone else. Not Chun Li. Not Chun Li. Laura or Poison, bro. Time to learn Chun Li. Yeah, that might have to be the play. I might have to learn Chun Li.